greetings and salutations. Welcome to a to the first ever Barrows well, Dragon Barrows Pro Wrestling Workout video. Now, throughout my time of being a professional wrestling fan, I have come to grips that different moves and different ways that people would act or implicate their moves would be would be powerful, would be dramatic, would be whatever. But in this first video, I'm showing you a thing called a military press. Things done by strong wrestlers, be the ultimate warrior, uh, Rock Lesnar, or anyone of that nature. Let me step back. You see? It's simple. That. Breathe out. Breathe in. up and your muscles in here will start to grow, will grow. Not grow, but you know, it will start to feel things. So, though this is not weighted, you can get a similar reaction to it when you are not having weight. Well, you are over the more times you do that, you're, you're working out this sort of muscle and working out this sort of muscle. And when your arms get tired of that, and in the vein of the ultimate warrior, firstly you put your arms together like that, separate them shoulder width. Breathe in, you pull up, breathe down, Doing that strengthens your, strengthens your, like, your, your joints. What, I'm, what this is doing is, like, the low impact, the more reps you can do. Like, you do the military press time, enough times that you, that you tire. Put your arms down. Rest for, rest for, rest for a count of Five, four, three, two, three. Then do that. And this is what the ultimate warrior used to do. Then he would do this do like do it like that. Doing it with your arms spread out. You're you're doing you're doing A 
times I've seen in the gym, a number of times, a number of times I've been, that doing, that was just a weight. You're building up, you're building up your muscles as well. Doing, you do that a number of times until you tired of doing that, then you go back, go, and you finish with that, breathe out, open your palm, you return to the military press. Go from, you go from shaking the rope, slowly you shake the rope, back into military press. Doing, I call that doing yoga and another such a discipline but that we call it. We, we, they have a, they have a certain thing called the warrior pose. I'm calling it the warrior, the warrior arm. By right, doing that, you can build up your chest, breathe in, breathe out, until you breathe out all the air from your lungs, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. And that's all, you breathe in. Pulling in, pulling out your chest, then you you lean slightly back while you do this too, because you need it's like a more like a slightly forward. Like there's some gym equipment that you do this, and that gym equipment. Is it's, it's not directly above you, it's not directly up, up in front of you, it's just up there, but in this case, I'm doing it like that. It's a slight lean back. And doing that, you're like you're pushing out, you're pushing shoulder blades and all the muscles in your back in your upper back up and out. Hmm. There is another thing that the open warrior used to do when he was competing in the ring. And I will have to do it up as in the computer down. No, 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 I'm not focusing over here, I'm focusing on this. Like, like when we were hyped up, it was to pump his arms up and down. And while doing that, he would do rap it. So he up and down. And literally piston pump his leg. But I'm not, we are, I'm not doing the piston pump here. Yeah? Like, I'm not pushing a train. I'm not pulling a train. <clears throat> These are slow movements. You also see it in more Thai kickboxing where where they where they bring the knee up and they bring someone head down. But we're not uh, I'm not thrusting my knee 
into someone's head. No, 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 no. This is to build the leg muscle. This is to strengthen your leg. <coughs> you can do it lying down as, as well. So, when you're lying down, stretching your back, look up towards the ceiling, and you'll be fine. So, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Plainly see, well, excuse me. So you can plainly see that doing doing the warrior, doing the ultimate warrior, low impact challenge. Over time, you will become stronger, and you'll be able to do more reps, more knee lifts. more arm rate, more rope sheets, more military press, and the same with the knee. I'm not saying that you would, I'm not saying that you would, you know, trim down overnight. I'm saying over time, you will be able to do more, if you're able to do more, you'll be able to get a bit more fitter. This is what I've discovered through pro through watching professional wrestling. Like the ultimate warrior would just do rapidly do that, do that, and run run frantically on the spot. Doing that will tie you out completely and you're not focusing on like the motions. The motions are the key. Or if you want to call it this is pro wrestling Tai Chi. See, doing that, you can become a bit fitter, a bit stronger, and just in general, you can be a bit more connected into the professional wrestling world. I've been Dragon Barrett, and I'm going to say Namaste, peace be upon you, and good workout.